everyone, my name is Kate Kaltoff and welcome to a Stamping to Share video. Today I'm going to share with you a St. Patrick's Day card. It's a cultural and religious holiday here in the United States and I've got a little St. Patty's pride myself and so I'm going to share this card with you. This also uses a stamp set called Teeny Tiny Wishes and then on the inside panel it says, live simply, love generously, care deeply, speak kindly, and leave the rest to God. And that comes from Trust God. And so let's go ahead and get started, and I'll teach you how to create this card. The first thing that we're going to need is this wonderful green. It's our Cucumber Crush. It's one of our 2015-17 in colors. This panel is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, and I've gone ahead and scored it at four and a quarter. So we're just gonna take this and fold it along the score line and give it a nice press. Then we're gonna work on the inside panel of our card. So for that panel, we have a four by five and one fourth inch panel and uh, it is in whisper white. And then I'm going to take my snail and just put a little bit along the top here. And I pre-did this in advance. I am using a one half inch by four inch piece of patterned paper here at the bottom. And the paper that we're using on this card, this bright green paper, is from our In Color 2015-17 pattern paper stack. This is um, 48 sheets of 12 by 12 paper, so you would get four of each design. And so I really love this, so let's go ahead and use this on this card. And this is, this sentiment is again from the Trust God stamp set, which I did go ahead and stamp in advance with our Cucumber Crush ink. So the inside panel is complete. Now let's work on the outside panel. So again, we're going to need some Whisper White paper. This is four by five and one fourth. And we're going to use a four inch square of that paper. Now on my card, I actually use the striped. But on this one that I'm doing for you, I thought I would use these little flowers and so you can see we have the striped on one side and the little flowers on the other so we're going to take this four inch square and I'm just going to use some snail on the back and we'll just go ahead and we'll just set this down right here on this white panel and now we have a little place down here where we can stamp our sentiment but to kind of divide the the bottom part from the top part I'm going to take a one fourth inch strip of this cucumber crush paper and we're just going to go ahead and on the back side I'm going to use a little multi-purpose glue and we're just going to glue this into place so let me go ahead and add a little bit of glue now I've made it a little bit longer here so that I have a handle and then we can trim it even in a minute so we'll just set this along here at the bottom of that patterned panel and then I'm going to flip it over and I'll use the scissors to trim it. Here's my handy dandy paper snips that I always keep by my side. And we'll just trim that flush. Now we'll go ahead and we'll stamp our sentiments. So I am inking up Happy St. Patrick's Day with the Cucumber Crush ink. We're just gonna stamp this down here. Perfect. Now what we need to do is work on the shamrock part of our card. So what I did is I went ahead and using a piece of the scrap paper, I used the Sweetheart Punch from Stampin' Up! And this is a piece of our Cucumber Crush scrap. And I just went ahead and I punched out three hearts. So that's what we're going to do to build our shamrock. And then we need this piece of vellum. And what I used is our Circles Collection Framelits. And I ran it through the Big Shot machine. And the one that I used is the seventh largest framelit. So if you start in the middle and count outwards, it's the seventh framelit. And then I ran that through the Big Shot machine with this piece of cardstock vellum. So now I'm just going to go ahead and we're just going to glue these shamrocks to our vellum. So here's the first one and I'm just setting it in there so that it's pretty close to the top. And then the next one and I'm just lining it up so that it touches and that this end comes right to this end. So we have the bottoms of our hearts touching as well as the side. And then we'll do the same thing to the last shamrock piece here. 
and I left the, I didn't put any glue right here because I want to be able to stick the stem up under, under there. So how do we create that really cute stem? So let me show you the original card again. We have this lovely stem coming down from our shamrocks. And how I did that is again, I used the Big Shot machine, but this time I used my ovals collection, which looks like this. And I used the fifth and sixth oval so what I did is I just took again a piece of cucumber crush scrap and I, I set it in here. Let me just show you. First I put this one down and then I put this next one down and, and I just ran it through the Big Shot machine like that. So I tried to kind of go halfway so, so that it's like a half an oval and I just put these two together and they are number five and number six. So if you start from the middle and count outward, it's the fifth and sixth oval that I use to create the stem for my shamrock. So let me go ahead and put this aside. And what we'll do now is we'll just add this right here to our shamrock. So to do that, I'm just going to again take a little multi-purpose liquid glue and we'll just set that right in here. And it looks lovely. So you can see how that works. It'll, it'll just go like that onto our card. So now the next thing to do is to set that actually onto our card panel. So I have the card panel right here. I'm just gonna give this another second or two to dry. In fact, while I'm letting this dry, I can go ahead and I can use our iced rhinestones to create kind of an accent in the center of this shamrock. It's always kind of fun to add a little bit of glimmer or bling to your cards. And so these are our iced rhinestones from Stampin' Up! And I just have a few here. So I'm just gonna pick one up with my paper piercing tool. And then I'll just set this right here in the center of our shamrock and that looks so pretty and now we can go ahead I think this is probably dry enough we can go ahead and add some dimensionals to the back so I'm just going to add one dimensional where each shamrock is and you won't be able to see that because it's on the other side of the hearts we don't want to put our dimensionals anywhere where they could show through on this vellum so now we're just going to bring the main card panel back and we're gonna set this in just like so. Very pretty. Now what we need to do is just add a tiny bit of multi-purpose liquid glue so that this stem will stay in place. So I'm going to just flip this up and as you can see, I could then just add the glue right along this stem. And then we'll flip it back over, give it a little press, give it a second for that glue to dry. Then I'll take my paper snips and we'll just snip this off just like we did the last time. Okay, so now we're ready to finish our card. So here's the card, and all we have to do at this point is just add some snail to the back of our front panel. And then we're gonna set that right on the front panel of our card. And it's just absolutely lovely. And I hope this will inspire you to create your own St. Patrick's Day cards. You still have time. And here we go. Here's the one I did in advance, and here's the one I did with you. And you'll have to let me know in the comments which one you like better, the stripe or the little flowers. Have a great day, and thank you so much for stopping by Stamping to Share. I truly appreciate you. If you need any of the supplies to recreate this card, be sure to visit my blog at www.stampingtoshare.com where I have links so that you can place product orders through me for Stampin' Up! items. Have a great day. Bye-bye.